How would you feel about your daughter doing sex work? So I would be supportive if my daughter chose to do anything with her life as long as we're not hurting anyone. I did OnlyFans, and I am ashamed at the behavior I've done. I thought it was cool, but all these females that you guys look up to in the industry, the, the, the media pushes you, they're all miserable. Girls who are like 17, who literally when they're about to turn 18 are promoting. They're promoting it, being like, hey, my 18th birthday, this is about yeah. to drop. Like, that's crazy and kind of disturbing. My mental health since I've started this has just slowly like been on such a decline. Like I feel a little bit dead inside. You see these OnlyFans creators and like in people's Instagram bios they'll be advertising, I'm the top 1% and I'm like, so you're sucking and fucking for three grand? There are women that right. try to sign women up just to get a referral Absolutely. from them. Wait, there's a referral program through to it? To sign women. No. Yes. You're fucking serious? Yes. No. Modern women often crave fame and popularity, constantly seeking platforms to showcase themselves. OnlyFans has become a popular site where they can go viral through various tactics. Parents are often reluctant for their daughters to join platforms like OnlyFans, fearing the potential consequences. However, many young women, valuing their independence and modern outlook, consider themselves smart and active. They are drawn to the idea of gaining fame and financial independence through these platforms. In pursuit of recognition, they sometimes post adult content, initially seeing it as an empowering choice. Over time, however, this decision led to significant regret. The reality of social stigma, privacy breaches, and long-term impacts on personal and professional lives becomes apparent. The pressure to continually produce explicit content also takes a toll on mental health, leading to anxiety and depression for women. But they are just in the tone of fame. Initially, they do not care, but later it turns into regret. Pornography is an addiction. So think about it, only fans can be to somebody because it's a subscription-based program per profile, like gambling. Yeah. Or you like know? an addiction, like you're addicted it, it to is an addiction at right. this person. You're addicted to this type of look and this type of fantasy. Even people in relationships, you know, if they're men or, if, you know, even girls that are just engaging in this type of entertainment, they're watching these people just take off their clothes. They look amazing. Like they have these waterboard abs and like these big butts and big boobs so I feel like it just affects women's identity it affects men's identity even like you have to achieve these physical attributes in order to be considered attractive so I feel like that also really can affect your intimate do the dare for you do dare call your mom and tell her you just started an OnlyFans <laughs> okay hi hi mom I have I have news to tell you I started a, uh, like a little business thing. Oh yeah? It's called OnlyFans. Okay. Isn't that sick? Are you happy for me? I'm so happy for you. Look it up. <laughs> okay, OnlyFans. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up right now. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let your girlfriend do OnlyFans? Bro, fuck no bro. That's bad for business, bro. That's all the way bad. Why would I want other niggas to pay for my girl and see her body when that's only for me to see? Why would I want the whole world to see that? But that's bad for business, but that's bad question. A man deeply curious about his girlfriend, believing her body is meant exclusively for him, questions why he should share her with others. This type of protective nature is appreciated by those who respect such sentiments. However, modern women often do not fit this mold. They have their own voice and a rebellious spirit choosing to live life on their own terms. Initially, men try to care for them and seek ways to enrich their lives, offering support and affection. But unfortunately, these efforts are often misunderstood. Modern women sometimes perceive this as a sign that men cannot live without them, misinterpreting genuine care as dependency. This miscommunication leads to tension. Women, valuing their independence, often push against traditional expectations. They seek to carve their own paths, sometimes in direct opposition to what men believe is best for them. This dynamic can create a rift, with women regretting the suppression of their feminist ideals in the past. They now strive to assert their autonomy and individuality, often challenging the traditional roles and expectations set by society. Men, on the other hand, may feel their efforts to care and protect are unappreciated, leading to frustration and misunderstanding. They see their actions as acts of love and care, 
while modern women interpret them as constraints on their freedom. Body next day, buddy. Hello. Yes. Bro, is everything okay? I'm bloody, I'm bloody living next door, here, yeah? and I'm bloody hearing things. Yeah, it sounds like someone getting hit. Oh no, no, no! I'm just working. What do you mean you're working, bro? Why are there bloody pumpkin over there? Oh. You know, it's not bloody Halloween no more. Oh no! Um, and why are you bloody dressing like bloody cheerleading, bro? Like, is this bloody high school musical? I uh, no, uh, I do um content creation. For a job. What do you mean you bloody creating content, bro? Like, what do you mean you're like content? Like, are you are you spiritual or something, bro? You start talking about content and creative and that, yeah? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so I I do I do um I do uh, videos for OnlyFans. So what? Who who's your bloody? I ruined my mom's marriage. I never planned on telling this story on TikTok, but here we are. So when I first started my website, I had this customer who was my number one customer, bought every single thing that I sent him. He was pretty much a follower since the beginning. We would talk every day. He made custom requests, very, very specific things. And he also had a very specific username on the website. Two months in, this person had spent around 2,000 Australian dollars on the site and I had someone view my TikTok page with the exact same username and underneath that it said, from your contacts. I went absolutely mental trying to figure out who this person was from my contacts. I narrowed it down to six people and one of them was my stepdad. I went with my gut feeling and I messaged the website account and I said, I know who this is. And within two minutes, got a text from my stepdad saying, hey, Tay, can we talk? Honest my stepdad was my top subscriber on my naughty website. <laughs> now I know what you're all thinking. Oh, stepdad fantasy, could have made content from it, blah, blah, blah. This man had been in my life since I was 11 years old and spent $2,000 on custom content every single video that I sent out. When I caught him, he denied it to all of his friends and obviously my mum got rid of him straight away. But yeah, if you want to talk about family trauma, my stepdad watched me have SEX with my partner for two months. Well, Here is the custom content that my stepdad was requesting on my naughty site. Like I said in a previous video, we messaged every single day on the website and he would make requests almost every single day. Every day? This gives a whole new meaning to every day I'm suffering. One of them was to see the underwear that I was wearing every day. At the time I was working still, so I was out of the house five days a week and he would ask for pictures in the bathroom or the change rooms of wherever I was. He also requested that when I was filming solo content at home that I would not do it in the bathroom or in the shower. He always wanted it to be on my bed or on the floor of my bedroom. Which mind you, he had access to this room every single day. That he also was helping out do the washing at home with said underwear. <laughs> I actually have here a little notebook from the time and it says the name of the username, change room slash public stuff that he was wanting. Oh yeah. In a complex and provocative story, a rebellious daughter has caused upheaval within her family by leveraging social media to her advantage, ultimately impacting her stepfather and mother in severe ways. The narrative unfolds around a stepdaughter who, having been under her stepfather's care since she was 11, has grown into a contentious figure within the household. The crux of the controversy lies in the daughter's use of an OnlyFans account, a platform known for its adult content. The stepfather, reportedly, has become one of her top subscribers, allegedly spending up to $2,000 on her content. This situation raises numerous ethical and psychological questions about the nature of their relationship and the boundaries within this family dynamic. Such behavior from a parental figure is not just inappropriate, but deeply troubling. It suggests a breach of the fundamental trust and responsibility expected of a parent, overshadowing the typical support and guidance a father should offer. Instead of fostering her welfare in a traditional sense, the financial transactions on a platform meant for adult entertainment 
depict a distorted form of support that could be seen as exploitative, or at the very least, highly inappropriate. Further complicating the matter is the daughter's apparent nonchalance. Her demeanor in discussing these transactions, often with a smile, suggests a disregard for the gravity of the situation. This behavior has sparked outrage and disbelief among observers who find it difficult to reconcile her actions with the norms of familial conduct. Moreover, this situation has not only affected the personal lives of those involved, but has spilled over into the public domain, damaging reputations and relationships. Initially disrupting her mother's household, the daughter now appears to be tarnishing her stepfather's dignity through social media exposure. This series of events paints a picture of a deeply fractured family, where the exploitation of digital platforms intersects destructively with personal relationships, leaving behind a trail of emotional and moral chaos. That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.